name is Maria Soledad Ciari, and today I'm going to talk about something that most of us take for granted, maybe because it's something that we do unconsciously, naturally, we didn't have to learn how to do it, but however, we rarely know how to do it in a proper manner. And actually, we are all doing it right now, and I'm talking about breathing. And unfortunately, um, because we are living in this uh, crazy society where everybody is in a rush, uh, we are always breathing fast and shallow and more, more, more quickly and less uh, deeply, which leads to, to some um, problems such as anxiety and depression, just to name some of its negative effects. But let's start talking about first the purpose and advantages of, the, of, the, of breathing correctly and the most important function, function of breathing is to get oxygen to the cells because oxygen is the most important nutrient in our body and our vitality depends on the quality of our breathing. So when we inhale oxygen, we purify the blood and when we exhale the oxygen, we get rid of wet products and toxins. So if we um, breathe irregular, uh, the the process of purification can be obstructed. Um, one um, yoga meditation teacher once said that it is uh, one of the very sad things in our culture that so few knows about the profound effect of regulating the breath. And it is a fact that through an optimal breathing, uh, a person not only could feel better, but looks better, can uh, have more fun and live a lot longer. And um, the, um, um, the, the key of a good general health is just to breathe deep and slowly because it's the only way that we can manage the stress. We can reduce the anxiety. We can focus our man, clear our man. We can uh, relieve some pains. And it, sometimes it helps with easy problems with the sleepiness. So the question is, what's the, the proper manner to breathe, what's the correct method to, to breathe. And it's very easy because maybe for some of you it can sound a little obviously, but we have to inhale with the nose and exhale with the mouth. And the correct method is when your stomach rises more than your chest. If you can, you can check this. Uh, just place the hands over your chest and the other over your stomach. And if you breathe normally, you can check which one rises more. And one of the most useful techniques of breathing is the relaxation one because it helps you when you are stressed and anxiety. And um, it's very easy to practice. It's just uh, take a breath through the count of four and hold it for a count of seven and then exhale it through the count of eight. And it's going to help you a lot with the anxiety. And uh, if you Try this twice a day, continuously. You are going to do this naturally during the day. Um, the other good technique is all the opposite, the stimulation breathing, and it helps you when you are tired and sleepy and without energy. And if it's done correctly, you can feel the same as when you feel when you finish a workout exercise. It's very it's a noisy breath because uh, you're going to inhale and exhale. Um, oxygen only with your nose and as fast as you can so you have to try to take three in and out breath per second it's very fast but uh, do not doing it for more than 15 seconds because it can have opposite effects and uh, you can increase the time by five seconds till you reach the minute with some practice uh, so in conclusion, I think that everybody can improve the lifestyle through some ex breathing exercises and remember to inhale with your nose and exhale with your mouth and practice some deep breathing to relax um, during the day. And if you breathe slowly, you live longer. Thank you very much.